Do it! Just do it! I'm falling! Oh, a lot of damage! Yo, what is up, my dudes? Oh, stop it! can see it is like super warm out here and all of our snow is gone oh which means that there is now no longer any ice that is on our pond so in today's beginning part of the video i am just gonna be fishing to try to catch a fish now i got my fishing pole right here that i am gonna be using to try to catch some fish and don't worry i also got this cheese right here that i am gonna be using as bait what? so i guess for waste any more time let's go ahead and head over to our pond and start fishing come on let's go so now that we have made it over here, let's go ahead and put our cheese on our hook. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! This giant piece of cheese should definitely be able to catch a fish because cheese is like the best thing ever. All right, I'm gonna make my first cast. <laughs> We just literally gotta sit here and wait. Three hours later. All right, so we have been out here for approximately three hours now. I'm gonna go ahead and reel in our fishing pole to see if we caught anything. Here we go. So there I was reeling in my fishing pole, hoping that I caught a fish. See what? Guys, I didn't catch anything. I literally was sitting there for over three hours with my pole in the water. And I literally didn't catch anything. Thing. What? Oh my goodness! Guys, off in the distance, I literally see a boat! Wait, that thing is gonna make it way easier for us to catch some fish! So there I was, heading to the other side of the pond so that we could get in the boat to catch some fish! So I have now safely made it onto the boat! Now it is time for me to start fishing! But then I got my bait stuck in a tree! What? Oh my gosh, guys! My bait is stuck up in the tree! Oh no God. way! Yo. I gotta hurry up and try to get it out! <laughs> Come on! No way, guys! My bait is literally stuck in the tree! And there's no way to get it out! It was so sad that my bait got stuck up in that tree. I spent $1.49 on that cheese using my mom's credit. Oh my goodness! This water is so cold! 8.01 p.m. Alright guys, so it is now 8.01 p.m. And as you can see, it is starting to get super dark outside. But we are coming out here to try to find the evil red Among Us character. Because if you guys do not remember in my last video, he literally left us a note in real life. Oh my god. And on the note that he left us, he literally was telling us that he is out here in our backyard somewhere. So in today's main part of the video, our mission is to try to find the evil red Among Us character. Now this could be super dangerous, so I got this dark tree right here that I am gonna be using as a defensive weapon. But alright, now that we have a defensive weapon that will keep us safe and protected, protected, we are now ready to try to go find the evil red Among Us character. So come on, let's go! Rex, you wanna fight me? How are you? Let's go, Rex! In the left corner, we have Lightning yeah. Star! And then, in the right corner, we have Rex. We'll be back right after this short ad break. Guys, I'm gonna go over there and absolutely destroy him! Here I go! In seven! Three! Five! Let's do this! Let's do this! Alright, here I go! Take this! Man, guys, this is really exhausting. I'm, like, extremely tired now. Man, there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat up Rex. He's still gotta continue looking around for the Red Among Us character. But all right, I guess for we any more time, let's continue to try to find the evil Red Among Us character. Come on, let's go. So there I was, looking around for the evil Red Among Us character. I was looking, like, everywhere I could. I even climbed up this tree so that way I could get a good bird's eye view of my surroundings. But then 
I just fell on the ground and passed oh. out because I was so hungry. What? Man, guys, I've been out here for approximately... 14 minutes now! I'm so hungry! It's a good thing I have this dog tree right here that I was supposed to use as a weapon! I'm just gonna eat this to give me energy! What? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! This thing tastes really good! But alright, now that I am fully energized after 100% legitimately eating that dog food! Why you always lying? Now ready to continue looking around for the evil Red Among Us character. So come on, let's go. All right, literally on the other side of this tree is where we found the note at. I'm gonna look on the other side of it. Well, unfortunately, he is not there. And I was really hoping that we would find him tonight. But don't worry, guys. We are going to come back out here tomorrow to try to find him. Because as you guys can see, it has gotten, like, extremely dark out here. And I can't even see the camera. But I don't know. I'm going to go inside and film a gaming video for my gaming channel. Which, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, then make sure you guys go in the description box down below and click on the link that says gaming channel. And then you guys can watch my gaming videos where I literally play Among Us. But yeah, I'm gonna go inside now. The next day. Alright guys, so it is now the next day. And something super crazy is literally happening right now. Like literally just about five minutes ago, I was on my trampoline. And I was eating an apple whenever I saw something red off in the oh distance. God. So if you guys do not remember, literally just in my last video, we found a note from the evil Red Among Us character in real life. And on the note that he left us, he literally told us that he was somewhere out here in our backyard. So hopefully the thing that I saw out there is literally him. But I don't know, I guess there was only one way for us to find out. We need to hurry up and head over there to see if he is the evil Red Among Us character. Now guys, this could be super dangerous and that is why I am gonna be bringing this apple with me because this thing ought to keep me safe and protected. Protected. But alright, I guess before we waste any more time, let's go ahead and head over there and check this out. Come on, let's go! Hey! That's a lot of damage! Like, he literally has these eyes that are, like, super red. And he looks, like, super evil. We gotta hurry up and head over there before he gets away. So, come on, let's go. That's a lot of damage. No way, guys. He's literally just right there in front of us. Oh, my God. Let's hurry up and my apple eye to try and slow it down. Take this. Yeah. <laughs> No! I missed! I guess we're just gonna have to run over there and try to catch with our bare hands! Come on, let's go! Oh. Hey, boy! Guys, look, he's not there! Oh my god. No way! He was literally just right here a second ago! We gotta hurry up and try to find him! So I started looking around everywhere to try to find the evil Red Among Us character, but I literally could not find him anywhere! No way, guys! He was literally just right here a second ago, and then he just disappeared out of nowhere! But I literally saw him! And he had, like, these bright red eyes! So that must mean that he is actually evil! Like he told us he was! But I do not know what we should do about this because the evil Red Among Us character is literally evil, which means that he is probably like super dangerous. But make sure you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think we should do about this. Like, should we try to capture the evil Red Among Us character so that way he cannot hurt anyone? Or should we just leave him alone because he is super dangerous? I don't know, guys. This was super legitness and I cannot believe it. We literally found the evil Red Among Us character in real life. But I don't know, guys. After after that intense moment, I really want to go fishing. And my pole is literally right there. So I'm just going to go fishing now. Um, goodbye, guys. A few moments later. I'm fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> oh, that's do hot. it. That's hot. Just do it. Don't let you. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it!